Hey. Hey. Glad to see you're still alive. I take it you heard about Mary Jane. Yeah, it's been all over the news. Did you get any hits on that $2 million reward you offered for a capture? Nope. So she's still out there, huh? Yeah. And that scares the hell out of me. So you're telling me that Mary Jane Vincent is actually Patty Williams and that Victor Newman's behind this? He found out she had a score to settle with me, and he gave her the means to do it. Only she came to town and wreaked havoc on the lives of everyone around me. You know what? Yeah, first he lets our sister unspool, and now he does this. I, no, I whoa, got whoa, something. Whoa, whoa. Billy, Billy, don't go off and make accusations against Victor Newman unless you got something to back it up. Believe me, it took him months, maybe longer, to set up this scheme. He covered his tracks. Well, come on, Jack. What are we supposed to do? Just sit here and take it? No. But we've got to be smart. And the first thing we do is find Patty before he does. I offered a million dollars more than Newman. That puts me first in line when Patty is found. Once she's in custody, I'm going to find out what his connection to her is. And I'll use it as leverage to get our sister out of that hellhole. Well, you know, Jack, that does sound like a good plan, but it also sounds like it's going to take a lot of time, and I would like our I sister out of the hell. It's Tracy working on our behalf. If anyone can get through to Ashley, Tracy can. Okay, well, that might work. And she, she does have some major powers of persuasion. You know, actually, I should probably get her to talk to Matt while she's here. Trouble in paradise? She's a little miffed about the mediation. Ooh, let me guess. Chloe won't sign the papers? Well, actually, it was me who didn't sign them at Wait first a anyway. I thought you wanted this divorce. Oh, I did. I I do, OK? It was just, look, I looked across the table. I saw Chloe, and I started remembering the good times. And... Given that you were dragged kicking and screaming into this marriage, were there any good times? It wasn't all bad. Anyway, I. I thought about Delia and, and, and her growing up in a broken home. Yeah, that gets the best of us. I assume you eventually signed it, right? I love Mac. I had a lapse. It's done. It's over. They're signed. Are you sure? The Listen, I know your heart is with Mac right now, but is it possible you're still in love with Chloe? Look, I wouldn't call it love, all right? I Man, even at her most stalkerish, I wouldn't kick the girl out of bed. You know what I mean? Oh, the girl gets to me. Well, you better figure out why before you commit to Mac. Last thing you need is to be turned on by your ex every time you go to see your daughter. Yeah. So, uh, how's it going for you being separated from the mother of your kid? Um, even though it is definitely over for Sharon and me, I am absolutely committed to this little girl being there for her no matter what. And that's enough. You know how much I want this child. Nothing could make me any happier. You said you had news? I do. I signed the divorce papers. <clears throat> I'm free. Are you sure you want to be? It was a moment that passed. Right, but you still had it. And think that maybe you should figure out why? No, I don't. I love you. I know. But I just, I can't commit myself to someone who doesn't know what they want. Come on, I want you. Yeah, today. Today you do, but what about tomorrow? You need to be alone, Billy. You need some serious alone time. <laughs> no exes, no hookups, no first loves, just just Billy with Billy. It's the only way you're ever going to know what you want and who you are. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, that's exactly why you need to be. Mm.